Welcome to Adorama TV. My name is Marcin Lewandowski and in this episode of The Viewfinder I will tell you a bit about one of my favorite cameras, the Sony A7S and share my experience of using it for a year and what makes it special to me. I became aware of this camera once people began talking more and more about mirrorless. As a longtime Nikon DSLR user, I wasn't really into the whole mirrorless revolution, but one beautiful day, I did an overview of the Zeiss Batis lenses using the Sony Alpha 7R for Adorama TV, and it was then that the ice between me and mirrorless started to melt. Shortly after that experience, I jumped at the chance to get the high ISO beast, the Sony Alpha 7S, and armed it with a 35mm prime lens. I decided to keep it like that and see what would happen. Before trying the A7S, I originally thought it was a camera with lots of gimmicks, offering just 12 megapixels. I'm used to working with cameras that have an output of 20 or 40 megapixels, but a camera that offers just 12? Well, actually, that is, in fact, more than enough. And the Sony A7S can be used for magazine work, online use, and it's safe for printing even up to A2 size. Another gimmick in my mind was the 409,600 ISO setting, which I never thought about seriously. Oh, how wrong I was. Not only can it go where no one ever dared go before, it performs like no one else on the road there as well. At the same time, the A7S provides a simply spectacular dynamic range of almost 15 stops. I mean, in terms of pure numbers, this is the ARRI cinema camera's area and simply destroys every photographic camera out there. The amount of detail that can be pulled from highlights and shadows is breathtaking. It has ISO capabilities I wouldn't have dreamt possible. But these facts only scratch the surface. One of the things that I simply adore about this camera is the option to shoot silently. I often work in theaters, backstage areas, film sets and other quiet places, so being able to not only move around silently but also to be able to photograph silently without the need of a blimp is a blessing. I imagine that anyone who has ever pressed the shutter at the wrong moment will know exactly what I'm talking about. Another thing that makes this camera stand out, because it doesn't have a mirror, is its size. It's just nice and compact. One of the functions of the A7S that everyone keeps talking about is video. I personally know videographers that value this camera pretty highly using it for work as well as leisure. I am not a videographer myself, but the other day we made a music video for Hultai and Fiandin, and from my perspective, the video capabilities are flawless. It has everything I ever wanted from a video camera, from picture profiles to different video modes, including 120p. I've spent the last year with the Sony A7S and I really love this camera and feel it's a glimpse of the future of mirrorless photography. From the moment I took my first photograph with it, I immediately thought that with this much dynamic range, it promised to be a fruitful romance. It accompanies me everywhere I go with the camera and it replaced the RX100 Mark IV in my daily kit bag. I hope you have a camera you adore as much as I do the Sony A7S. Subscribe to our channel for more love stories and have a look at the Drama Learning Center for some cool tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Drama TV. See you next time.